PowerPoint presentations allow users to visualize ideas. You can capture your audience's attention and inform them about your idea or topic using texts, images, audio, videos, and more. However, be careful when using PowerPoint because one mistake can ruin all your good work. But what common errors do presenters make when creating PowerPoint presentations? For today's video, I will teach you how to avoid common PowerPoint presentation mistakes. First, excessive content in a PowerPoint presentation. Overcrowding is the most common mistake in PowerPoint presentations, especially those created by beginners. We know you want to pass on as much information as possible. However, remember that your audience members are there to listen to you, not just read your texts. If you fill your slides with too much text, your audience will focus on reading your slides instead of paying attention to you. So, how do you know the right amount of content to add to a slide? The lesser your content, the better your presentation. Hence, you should take a minimalistic approach and add only essential text. You don't have to add text to every white space. You may add several slides, but don't discuss more than one idea on each slide. Also, you should split your ideas into not more than three bullet points. Second, improper fonts. Another error to avoid when working on your presentation is using improper fonts. Your font selection will affect the readability of your PowerPoint slides directly. Use simple and legible fonts like Arial, Calibri, and Times New Roman. Not only are these fonts legible, but they are also pre-installed fonts. Use pre-installed fonts because they will remain the same even if you share your presentation file with someone else. On the other hand, your custom font will change if the other user hasn't installed the same font. Additionally, use a maximum of two fonts on a slide and try to create a contrast. We recommend a serif font and a sans serif font. When it comes to font size, opt for fonts that will remain readable in every corner of the room you will be presenting. Third, poorly formatted images. Though pictures truly speak a thousand words, you must be careful with them. Any picture you add to your slide must illustrate your idea. You should also avoid using too many images on one slide. We recommend that you use one image per slide. Additionally, you should format your images nicely. Don't just download an image online and insert it in your PowerPoint presentation. Ensure your images are of high quality and have the right background color. Your presentation will appear unprofessional if your picture's background doesn't match your slide's background. The easiest way to fix this is to make your picture's background transparent. Fourth, wrong use of colors. If you have been adding colors to your slides without thinking, you have been making a mistake. Colors affect people's feelings. For instance, bright colors can raise people's moods and make them happier. Additionally, create contrasts when using colors. Do you have a dark background? Choose a light font. Do you have a light background? Use a dark font. Fifth, inconsistency. We understand that you want to create an impressive slide deck, but this doesn't mean you need a new design for every slide. Your slide deck will look inconsistent and unprofessional that way. Stick to the same layout you used in your first slide throughout your slide deck. This may seem like a lot of work as you keep double checking, but it will do you a lot of good. The best presenters dress well to make good first impressions and make a contact with their audience. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, check out our other videos for more great content. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.